Hello everyone, I'm Michael Hall from Hall Logic. Today I'm excited to show you the first ever automatic tow haul mode. Now if you own a truck or SUV, chances are you're familiar with tow haul mode. In this vehicle, the tow haul mode would normally be activated by pressing this button. But today we're going to show you how we can do this without pressing the button. Now for this demonstration, we've set up the automatic tow haul very sensitive. So just the thousand pound increase is going to turn on the tow haul mode. So we're just driving around the Hall Labs campus. I'm doing lots of stops and starts just to make sure that the vehicle is getting a weight reading and um, that it isn't going into tow haul mode. All right, let's head on over to Vander Hall and pick up some engines. So here we are in the Vander Hall facility to come get the weight that we need. This is the engine build area at Vanderhall. The engines come in four to a box. All right, we've got four motors, 250 pounds each. So this should be enough to trip our thousand pound limit to get into the tow haul mode. Let's try it out. Look, Ma, no hands. We were able to get into tow haul mode without pressing the button. Now, a good magician never shows their tricks, but today we're gonna make an exception. We're gonna show you how we did this. All right, so if you've seen our other videos, you know how we calculate weights. We're looking at engine speed, vehicle speed, steering wheel angle, longitudinal acceleration. From those ordinary signals, we're synthesizing mass and other signals. Once we have the mass, it's as easy as just setting a set point. So to show you more behind the scenes, we have some equipment in the back seat. From Intrepid Systems, we're using the NeoVi Fire as our network adapter. That attaches to a PC running vSpy software. We're utilizing the, uh, the C code linker to a Visual Studio project. Um, as you may know from previous videos, we use uh, Simulink for all of our algorithms. So we're generating C code from there that goes into Visual Studio, um, and that's what's running the, the algorithm. 